served. All right, let's talk to Paige Pate about justice. He's a defense attorney. He joins us too. So um, police said they're going to bring up Ariel Castro on state charges. Why not bring him up on federal charges right now? Well, it's interesting that the FBI has been investigating this case, and I expect they will continue to assist the state authorities. However, to have a federal kidnapping crime, you have to have an interstate nexus. In other words, these guys needed to take them across state lines, and that didn't happen here. So might there be federal charge issued of another kind? It could. Uh, we need to see what happened inside the house. I think it's very early in the investigation. The more we find out about what went on inside of that house with these girls, uh, unfortunately, the, the facts that we uncover may lead to additional charges, maybe sex charges. And the federal government does have authority to step in, even in a purely state situation, if there are sex offenses. So you've tried a lot of cases. Is it, um, I don't know, is it logical to think that uh, Ariel Castro allegedly did all of these things by himself for a decade? Uh, Carol, I don't think so. I think that's very hard to imagine. Uh, and we also need to remember that even if the brothers weren't directly involved in committing the offenses, if they didn't touch the girls, if they didn't have any involvement in bringing the girls to the house, they can still be charged. It depends on what they knew and if they did anything at all to assist their brother. You sat here and you listened to that news conference held by the Cleveland police. Um, they insist they did all they could through the years to find these girls. They said they questioned suspect. They dug up properties. They, I don't know, but they did never, they never found anything. They participated in vigils. I think they said that too. In your mind, did they do all they could? Well, probably not all they could have done. I mean, we've seen now after the Boston case that if law enforcement really wants to canvas a community, they can do that. And we found that these girls were, were so close to where they were taken that if law enforcement really put on 100% of their effort and went house to house, it is possible they could have been found earlier, sure. Yeah, because the house was not far from where these girls were abducted. That's right. But there's always that tension, as law enforcement said. I mean, how much are we going to invade people's privacy? Do we really go house to house every time there's a missing person? And hindsight is always 20-20. Paige Pate, thank you so much. Thank you, the next hour of CNN Newsroom starts now.